Hi students, welcome to the Smart Commerce Channel class. We start the module ratio analysis in this episode. What do you mean by a ratio? A ratio is a simple arithmetical expression of the relationship between two numbers. It is the mathematical expression of the relationship of one number with that of another number. When one number is expressed in terms of another number, it is called a ratio. Now what is a financial ratio? A financial or an accounting ratio is the ratio between two accounting figures or amounts. It is the relationship between two accounting figures expressed mathematically. It is the relationship between two elements in the financial statements of the business frames such as profit and loss accounts, balance sheets, etc. Now let's come to ratio analysis. Ratio analysis is a technique of analysis and interpretation of financial statements. Ratio analysis is the analysis of financial statements with the help of ratios. It is the process of computing the ratios between the different items in the financial statements and analyzing the same for arriving at conclusions or interpretations about the profitability and financial position of the business enterprises. It helps in taking certain decisions. Randa Sankhyakal Tamilula Bentham Arithmetical Ayat Ganikinudu Naan Uru Ratio Innu Parayinnadu Uru Sankhyakki Matru Sankhyakki Maayula Bentham Mathematical Ayat Ganikinudu Naan Uru Ratio Nathava Uru Sankhyakki Matru Sankhyakki Adisthanathil Ganikinudu Naan Uru Ratio Inni Enta Anu Uru Financial Ratio Alangil Accounting Ratio Randa Accounting Figures Tamilula Alangil Randa Amount Gal Tamilula Bentham Arithmetical Ayat Ganikinudu Naan Uru Accounting Ratio Alangil Financial Ratio Innu Parayinnadu அத்தவா, financial statementிகளில் உள்ள 2 elements அலங்கள் items தமில்ல பெந்தமான financial ratio அலங்கள் accounting ratio என்னு பரையிந்தது ratioகள்ட சக்காயத்தோடு கூடி financial statementிகள் விச்சகல்லம் செய்ந்தது நான ratio analysis என்னு பரையிந்தது financial statementிகள்ல items தமில்ல ratios compute செய்கையும் அவா விச்சகல்லம் செய்து உண்டு ச்தாபனத்தின்டே சாம்பத்தியதலேயும் லாபக்ஷமதையும் சம்பதிச்ச நிகமனங்களில் அலங்களில் வியாக்கியானங்களில் எத்து செய்கியும் செய்கின்ன பிரக்கிரியைக்கான ரேஷ்யு அனாலிசு சந்து பரையின்னது Now next it is Objectives of Ratio Analysis The following are the poems of Objectives of Ratio Analysis They are Number 1 To measure the profitability of a fame with the help of ratios such as gross profit ratio net profit ratio etc. Number 2 to measure the operational efficiency of a firm with the help of operating cost ratio, operating profit ratio etc. Number 3 to facilitate or make possible the intra-firm comparison that is comparison of the data in the different years of the same firm and inter-firm comparison that is Comparison with the other frames. Number four, to facilitate cost control and cost reduction with the help of the different cost or expenses ratios such as cost of production ratio, administration and selling expenses ratio, etc. Number five, to measure the liquidity position of the fame, that is, the ability of a firm to pay off its short-term liabilities with the help of the liquidity ratios such as current ratio, liquid ratio, etc. Number six, to measure the solvency position of the firm, that is, the ability of a firm to pay off its long-term liabilities with the help of the ratio such as debt equity ratio, proprietary ratio. Fixed Assets Ratio, etc. Number 7. To help in taking profitable investment decisions with the help of Return on Investment, that is Profit on Investment Ratio, like ratios. Last point number 8. To facilitate financial forecasting and planning for the future with the help of the ratios of previous and present years. Next it is importance and uses of ratio analysis. 
Ratio analysis is important or useful to the various users or interested parties of the financial statements. Therefore, the importance and uses of ratio analysis can be discussed under the following different heads. A. Managerial uses or importance of ratio analysis to the management. There, point number one helps in decision making. Financial statements such as profit and loss account and balance sheet are prepared primarily for decision making. But with the mere or only preparation of financial statements, we cannot arrive at any meaningful decisions or conclusions. Ratio analysis helps in taking decisions or arriving at conclusions from the information provided in the financial statements. Number two, forecasting and planning. Forecasting is foreseeing or looking into the future. Planning is deciding in advance for future or taking decisions for the future. Ratio analysis helps in planning and forecasting. Number three, helps in communicating. The information contained in the financial statements is to be communicated in an easy and understandable manner. Ratio analysis helps in communicating the financial strengths and weaknesses of a firm by conveying the information in such a manner. Financial statement is related to the financial statement. The financial statement is related to the financial statement. The financial statement is related to the financial statement. The Number four helps in coordinating. Better communication of the strengths and weaknesses of an enterprise results in or helps in better coordination. Coordination is very important in effective business management. Number five helps in controlling. Ratios are there based upon pro forma financial statements. Variations or deviations if any is found in comparing the actual with the standards, corrective actions can be taken. Therefore, ratio analysis helps in effective control of the enterprise. Madhurga financial statement is the standard ratios. The actual financial statement is the ratio of the Tamil. Compare the same bowl. The same bowl is the same Number six, other uses. Management has some other uses also with the ratio analysis, such as budgetary control, etc. Therefore, ratio analysis helps in the preparation of budgets and thereby helps in the budgetary control. Budgetary budgetary control ratio analysis. Now, B. Uses to the shareholders or investors. A shareholder or an investor wants to assess or evaluate the financial position and profitability of the firm in which he has invested or going to invest. Solvency ratios will help him in assessing financial position of the firm. On the other hand, profitability ratios will be useful to determine the profitability of the firm. Now, C. Uses to the creditors. Creditors or suppliers provide short-term credit to the firm. They want to know whether current assets of the firm are sufficient to meet their payments in time. That is, to repay their money in time. Current assets and liquid assets ratios will give an idea about the current financial position or current assets position of the firm. Now, D. Uses to the employees. The employees are also interested about the financial position of the firm, especially about the profitability. Because their wage increases and fringe benefits or extra benefits depend on the volume of profits earned by the concern. Various profitability ratios will enable them to know the profitability of the firm. E. Uses to the government. Government is interested to know 
the overall strength of the industry. The future industrial policies of the government depend on the information available from the industrial firms. The ratios may be used by the government to assess or evaluate the overall financial strength of public and private sector industries. Now last point F uses to tax authorities. Clause 32 of the Income Tax Act requires that the following ratios should be given to the tax authorities. They are gross profit to turnover ratio, net profit to turnover ratio, stock to turnover ratio, etc. Therefore, to fulfill this requirement, ratios are important. We will be back soon with the next topic in the next episode. Thank you. For the easy access of the classes, please subscribe the channel. It is free by clicking the subscribe option and for getting notifications, click the bell icon below.